work I usually create is large mural pieces. They're quite classical in the way they're, they're treated, uh, very figurative. And it's quite, quite time consuming. Um, I get a lot of people involved, so they come to the studio, they dress up, they pose for me, and they're quite elaborate in their setup. Uh, I've done a lot of work for hotels, the Hotel Du Van, the vineyard in, in Stock Cross, just outside Newbury. The work I make is very figurative. Uh, and a lot of the stuff I've done in the past has been themed. So it would be like period pieces, um, the, Tum the hotel in Tunbridge Wells, the Hotel Du Van, um, because it was a Georgian property. We've made the mural to be like a Georgian theme. So I hired lots of costumes from the, uh, the National Theatre and just set up a, a set in here really, um, got lights in and just, uh, the photo shoot usually takes about four hours but everybody in costume, lights, it's quite a theatrical thing and the work itself is quite theatrical but I like that. Um, it's, it's highly detailed. Most of the murals I make, but bearing in mind the size, like they can f fill that whole wall so they, they can be usually approximately about six metres by three metres and that would take me about two to two and a half months. That's from the original conception, doing all the sketches, submitting the drawings to the client. So it's a pretty lengthy business and the actual painting itself will probably take about six to eight weeks. Once the photo shoot's taken place, I usually end up with hundreds of photographs and then that's followed by an editing process where I just select which photographs work, which ones don't, and then they piece together um, all the best images. There's a sample up here on the wall where it's like a photo montage of all the best photographs. From that stage, I'll then sort of work it up onto a canvas, either by gridding it up or projecting it. And then it's the very laborious process of painting it. I mean, occasionally I'll need assistance. So I get people to help me with the underpainting and I follow up with the, uh, the details at the end. This is uh, my studio practice that's more personal, although some of it is used for the mural work. I was commissioned to do a, a piece in uh, south of France in Carcassonne a uh, year before last and the client wanted pigs incorporated in the mural so I created these uh, and I basically lit them and then photographed them to get the right light and shade and I used those as a reference to in the painting and then just added pig colours to them so uh, but then they, they eventually became other works incorporated with the other, uh, the other models. Basically they start off with like a wire skeleton like this uh, very loose and floppy and then once the pose has been set up, they'll be made more rigid. And then the clay is applied to that. And the clay is like, a, it dries naturally in air. Uh, it takes about three to four days. And then when they're finished, they, uh, I'll basically use like a matte medium to go over them to sort of like just protect them further and give a bit of machine to it. I've been working on this large body of work of these charcoal drawings, uh, which are based on the clay figures. And they're really based on sort of like, uh, I'm not trained in sculpting, but I needed, I always work from reference, whether it's real figures or sort of like the, these clay figures. And I started sculpting them to use for a reference for, for some of the works. And I was just fascinated with the, the expressive quality of them. Um, I think it's because I'm not trained in sculpture that they are so raw and immediate. And I think that gave me the expressive quality I was looking for. And then I translate them into the drawings. What made me become an artist? Um, I guess I had no choice. <laughs> it's the only thing I was good at. Um, I was always good at art at school. Uh, it's something I always really enjoyed doing, so it's always something I've pursued. Um, I remember when I was eight years of age, the, uh, the art teacher at school asked my mum to sort of like get me to art school. There used to be like a local art school where I lived. And she said, oh great, yeah, fantastic, we'll do that. And when we got outside, I said, oh, can I go, really, can I go? She said, of course you can't, it'll be full of bloody beatniks. So I never really got the encouragement when I was a kid, but I just persevered with it. I would say it's one of the few things I was good at, and I just stuck with it. My biggest achievement as an artist is, I guess, being able to, um, I guess being able to, to paint and, and be paid for it. I mean, that's what I do for a living now, so I think that in itself is a, I mean, I feel very privileged. And um, it, it's a great achievement, you know, for me personally, because I'm always using a brush, whether it's doing my own stuff or doing yours.